continue. Okay, so step one is collection of data. Collection of data. Now, for we to build such a robust system, we have to have our data source. Our data source. Yes, you should know how to collect your data. Get your data sets. Those in the data science class, uh, you would have advantage here. You have to know how to source your data, where and when to get your data. Now, let's dive into the collection of data. The first step is to collect the data. Now, this data can be in the form of image because what we are coming to do is coming to classify different species of birds. So, the data we are going to, you should know the data you are going to collect. You are not going to collect test. No, a test won't do anything. Either you collect a video of a particular species or an image. So, we will need to collect more data on a particular species. So, like thousand, like a whole lot. Because, note, in artificial intelligence, the more the images or the videos, the better the model will be. When building a model in artificial intelligence, take note, the more the data you train with your system, the better the model will be. So we will collect about thousand. Yes, get you. Any question? Oh, okay. Let's move on. So we will collect about thousand videos or pictures about a particular bed. So let me see sparrow. You will collect thousand images of sparrow. You will collect thousand images of other beds. So take note: the more data you collect, the better the model will be. The second point is defining the number of layers. Defining the number of layers. Okay. Here, you will need to define your number of layers. Please listen very carefully here. Okay, now, the layers you are going to define, the layers you are going to define now are called start. Remember when we are starting, I said the deep represent stack of layers. So here you are going to define the number of layers. The number of layers here also means the number of neurons which, which will be in your model. Note, the more the neurons, the more defining of layers, the better your model. The more definition of your layers, the better the model. Next one, the next step, training the network. Training the network. As you can see from my screen, there is a network drawn on that particular person's face. That is called the network. Now, let's turn to something. Under training of network, so one, you've collected your data. You, you, you've gotten about 1,000 images of different species. thousand images of different speed please can can you send the link to uh, your class whatsapp groups i've been notified some don't have the link um, let me see
okay let's move on now you can see from my screen the face of this young man there is something drawn on it i define as layers or the deep now these layers they are the network so this network you are going to train first our first point we collected the the data we took like thousand images or videos formats for each species of birds we are going to classify now after that we define the number of layers our model should have okay now after that we are coming to train our our network Training this network involves a lot. One, you need to make sure that, in fact, the size of the picture of all the thousand pictures are all the same. You need to make sure that the size of all these pictures you are going to train your... What's here? Are you talking... okay let's move on training the network one you need to make sure that all the all the pictures or the image you are going to give to your model is in the same size so if it's the the, the pictures of these pieces are 10 by 10 size size height is 10 width is 10 Every one of them should be 10 by 10. Okay. Now, the next training we can also be like, we want this network of layer to also, also determine the difference in the beak, the difference in the nose, the difference in the ears, and the structure, the claws, so our 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 we will make sure our network that we are we are the training session please we will make sure our network can be able to identify that eagles let me see eagles have larger claws sparrows have small eagles have bigger bees sparrows have smaller bees so we will actually define all these at the training network We will define all these at the training layer so that our model will also be learning as we are training it it is also learning note on equal size of image cannot be trained so if you are giving data to your model and the data let me say you are giving five pictures of eagle to your to your to your model then these pictures they are they all comes different in size these are portraits these are landscape these are small these are big please your model can't be trained with such data make sure your data are all the same of the same size the same quality okay the next level is testing the network testing the network so you've trained you you've gathered your data you've defined the number of your layers now you've trained the network in the specific area it should it should get in detecting whether this one is a sparrow this one is a parrot this one is an eagle then the next step, step you are going to do is testing your network testing your network how are we going to test our network now we've successfully trained our network or our model the network should be tested with unseen images not images you've given to your model so let me say you you gave whilst training your data you gave an image of an eagle um drinking water when you go and you want to test it give an image of let me see a dog give an image of a dog or an elephant to your model 
if your model is not able to say this image it's not a bed and so it can be classified according or under this species if it it can't do that it means there is a problem with your training you didn't train it well if you show the picture of a dog to your model and the model is able is able to say okay this is a dog and so it's rejected or it's not fall or it's not falling under any of this or maybe it can say this is a dog you see image invalid that's fine because what you train your data is with bears it should only be able to detect bears and that but after training your data and you show the picture of a dog to your model and your machine or your software says in fact this picture is an eagle it means there is a problem with your training hence you would have to train your model again please any question here right let's move on now the next thing we are moving on is the rnn that the next algorithm the rnn that's recurrent neural networks before that please any question on the previous algorithm that's the cnn If there are no questions let's move on recurrent neural networks recurrent neural networks in fact this recurrent neural network is more powerful than what we just did it is used in actually building more robust systems than what we just did okay let's begin they store information of previous data as well as current data to perform predictions for the results most likely to happen in the future under this algorithm this is how it works they store information or it stores information of previous data that you've trained with it as well as the current data you are training with it it also picks it so for example you train your 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 model with with bear species then you show it a dog a dog it will say invalid though but it's going to pick the dog image and add it to what it has analyze it so that the next time you show a picture with the dog it will say okay this is a dog so you see how powerful it is it can be able to to perform your train network and also as well as the current situation it can also learn from a current situation and predict for future that is the recurrent neural networks okay their input is either numerical or test data they are used they are also used in natural language processing applications we will dive into natural language processing applications so the difference you are to get between these two the cnn and the rnn is with the cnn you train your data then based on your training it should be able to perform whatever image or data that has been given provided it is or it falls under the category of the train data as for the cnn but for the recurrent neural networks this is more powerful in such a way that it stores information of the previous data you've trained with as well as the current data to perform predictions for the results most likely to happen 
in the future okay and with this one mostly it takes an input in the form of either numerical or test data unlike the the cnn which takes um more visual so video formats uh let me see images this one takes in a form format of either numerical or test data please note the difference okay now for example we are we are going to an example of recurrent neural networks let's say you want to build a system that wants to actually learn a book that you want to build a system that can learn a book so meaning a system so maybe you are building a robot a robot that you can give it a book and it can read and understand the book and actually summarize it to you okay now in this example in this example this recurrent system will actually use words that has been given to it learn these words draw patterns among these words so that in the future it can be able to generate similar things to it for example your um um this system paraphrasing your paraphrasing tool software like a paraphrasing tool hope you all know that any paraphrasing tool is an artificial intelligence software so any paraphrasing tool you 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 actually see so you go and paste your work you click on paraphrase then it will be changing text it's an artificial it has been trained and it falls under recurrent neural networks this is how it does its work now it's being trained with words and with the with, with these words it's going to store it storing these words now whenever any time or anywhere someone gives it a, pass, a, a passage or um, an essay is going to detect or run through this passage here after here i would i would actually want you to go and analyze a paraphrasing tool you will get any paraphrasing tool you use any paraphrasing tool you use to go and study it i think it is the most available artificial intelligence software you can actually assess now right now so um let me see if i can get one here right now then we we actually practice with it so um okay let me go to who uses my folder space here they have a paraphrasing to let me go there okay um let me see we are going to actually study a paraphrase to a paraphrase to so um let me see okay so come these people they have a paraphrase to okay so um let me log in i i think i have an account with them let me log in so um no i can't log in okay i can log in i can still log in here Oh, they they now have show parts with. Oh, okay. So not now. 
price on my screen. Uh, okay, I think I've opened. Okay, so um, let they have a power freezing to here. Okay, please hope you can see my screen. Yes, sir. Okay, so right now I'm with my folder space. I'm using their power freezing tools. This actually is an artificial intelligence software they are using here. So let me go and copy something from somewhere. Then come and demonstrate. So I'll come, I'll paste something. Oh, then come. Let me go and copy something else. And what is a folder? Okay, so I've gotten some test i'm coming to power freeze it. i know most of you might be using power freezing too but you not take note that it is an artificial intelligence software today you know it is artificial intelligence software okay so i'm using my folder space power freezing tool here so um, I've pasted my 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 test inside. Now let me click on the paraphrase paraphrasing. And every paraphrasing tool needs a strong network. If you don't have a strong network, it can't paraphrase because it is artificial. Okay, my network is strong. Okay, so you see, my original test is in computing. A, dire a directory is a file system catalog cataloging structure which contains references to other computer files, possibly other directories. Now here, this is what the, the intelligence system has given me. A directory is a file system cataloging structure which contains references to other computer files. Now there is something here. On top of the paraphrasing tool, you have, you see, they have standard model, mode. It's a model. They, they just want to see those who, so those who knows artificial intelligence, they will know that our standard model, fluent model, creative model. Now, I'm using just standard one, just standard, so that everyone will know that oh, this one is not overused. In my overuse, the system is actually intelligent in a way that it took the most vital points in this then gave it to me a new SMS for mobile money. then gave it to me so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to also test fluent mode okay paraphrase I hope my network doesn't. Um, okay, you see, in their fluent mode, they 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 even wrote something happy mental ground between standard. So this this is what, and they they explain it. Try to change the sentence while keeping to keep. This is it. This is what is giving me a directory is a cataloging structure which may include references to other computer files. Let's study the pattern here. It is picking key points in my original test, trying to make sense out of it, then give me a sample or a summarized sense in my whole test this is an artificial intelligence software 
it picks what I've written here, tries to pick up the key point. So you see here, the system knows that the key point here is directory. Cataloging, cataloging structure. And it also knows that it contains, it says so it's a cataloging structure that something is a cataloging structure that is containing something. So this is what it gives me. A direct is a cataloging structure which may include references to other computer files. This, when someone read this, this the person will be able to understand what I'm trying to say. But this is not the original. This was what I typed. This is the creativeness of this model. Now let's use their creative model. Creative model. Please, before the creative, they, they, they try to warn you, tries to change the sent, sentence, most quite likely to have some errors. They try to warn you. It's a very good paraphrasing to work it. Let's wait. We are changing to creative model. Okay. Now you see the difference also. The directory is a system cataloging structure for computing, which may contain references to other computer files. This one has also, now you see, they are all keywords in what I've written. That's what I want you to take note. It has been able to draw patterns in this particular original um, um, test. Then within this test, it is picking key points. So you see every every model I, I, I select, you see a directory inside, cataloging structure inside. Then you see either reference, reference also inside or files. You also see either contain or include. The system is intelligently picking key points in my whole test and give me the accurate meaning I want to get. Please, who have any question? Say. Yes, please. I, I, I don't know whether if I'm getting confused or something. Because before we started, you said uh, with uh, Madiko, the AI, sorry, the IE, sorry, the intelligent, uh, sorry, the AI, artificial intelligence, sorry, sorry. Um, we feed them with data, isn't it? Yes. And every AI and its kind of data you can, how do you call, feed them. We have some that deals with words, some that deals with um, um, sound, some that deals with a lot, with objects. So for instance, the car, the automated cars. But in like the case me, I have not, uh, maybe I developed this, um, 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 artificial intelligence that's paraphrasing too. And I haven't given it this kind of data. Let's say for instance, what you have given. So how then is it able to get, please you guess, you guess please, can you guess what I'm, I'm, I'm trying yes. to say? Yes. Why then will it be able to get, because all I know is maybe, for instance, the color it is, you said objects, maybe a human being. So whenever it sees a human being, a picture of a human being, it stops. Because like, I haven't given any sentence like this, but it's, it's able to paraphrase it for you to get maybe something reasonable. How is it done? Okay, very good question. Note that in this lesson, this evening's lesson, we are learning about deep learning. And deep learning, we have algorithms. We've learned the first algorithm that the CNN that, that deals with pictures and image uh, videos. That's images and video. And the second one is um, recurrent neural net that deal with not with, that deals with numericals and data uh, test data. Now we are on the test data, the numerical and the test, and it is say, and it says it is the most powerful algorithm in artificial. So what you are doing is classified as the most powerful in artificial intelligence. Right, this is it. It works using tests being trained to it. So with this system, with this system we are using right now, my folder space, they are 
paraphrasing to right now. They've trained it with tests. Now the test, they didn't train with every test, no. So they train with sample tests. Now we know that this particular model is very powerful to the extent that it can use current data to predict future. So meaning, maybe in their test, they train with directory. They have directory inside. They have reference inside. Now this system picks this whole test, picks some key points in it, tries to learn whatever I've put here, then make predictions here. So what has written here is a prediction. It has learned what I've given it to, to it here. It has learned everything in computing, comma, a directory. So it's even in, in my, there's a comma. There's two commas, and and those stuffs. It picks some key points. Learn from it. Then use that one based on these ones. Predict a result for you here. Note it is the most powerful algorithm in deep learning. That's artificial intelligence. Godi, are you okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So we are dealing with one of the most powerful algorithm. So you can see it picks whatever you type here. So it picks whatever you type here, then give. So let's try. Let me try and make not to make this sentence. Let, let me make it short and see. So in computing, a directory is a file system. Now let's start with your, with your standard mode. Now you see it, it will come paraphrasing. It is drawing a model, trying to draw patterns before it gives you your results here. Let's see what it will give us. Okay, so you see, very simple. A directory is a file system, full stop. It picks this, learn from it, analyze and try to make sense out of it. Then based on this, it gives you a prediction with a precise keyword without eliminating your keywords from it. So whenever someone takes this, you or she will just understand. A directory is a file system. Yeah, that's all. A directory is a file system. Anyone will understand this. But when I was starting, I said in computing, Okay, let's use the affluent model here. And take note, every paraphrasing tool has the limit of characters it can take. So you see here, there's, there are 500 characters. So if you want to paraphrase a thousand words, you have to do it uh, bit by bit before you, you, you actually paraphrase. A very great tool. Okay, this one has kept long on my network connection. When you are paraphrasing and it's not uh, actually coming, make sure your network is stable because these mode these softwares they are intelligent okay we run into issue it, it means my my network is i'm having a network challenge okay so far so good let's move on let's move on to our lesson let's not waste time here okay let's go back where is it We are moving on to another example that's um let's move on. So our next example we can take is Google's assistant or um say yes okay. please there is not about what you are doing right about the app you just uh, monitor used. Did you pay for it? 
No, please, I didn't. Okay, so CV something, I don't know. Mostly with this kind of CV stuff, whenever I try to do, they tell you to, after signing everything, they will try to tell you to pay something. That's what I'm trying to ask. No, yes. this is my folder space. And actually, they offer free. So everything they use is free. So you can just, mm -hmm. I recommend for you, it's my folder space dot, my folder dot space. So oh, okay. you can, yes, they have a lot of things. I use it for a lot of my work. They have a CV builder, a whole lot. A whole lot with it. Yes. It's very good. You notice, you actually notice. Personally, I use it. I use it a lot for most of my team. They have a lot CV builder, uh, power freezing to, they even have a game there. They have a lot in there. So you just open my folder dot space. Let me, let me send you the link. It will really help you. It's free. It's just free. Uh, where is my chat session? So I've sent you the link. You can actually create um, um, a dashboard for yourself. Then be enjoying their services. Okay, let's move on very fast. Time is fast, man. Okay. Our next example we will be moving on is, for example, the Siri. So we are going to uh, talk with Siri. Hello, sir. Hello? Sir, please, we can't hear you. 